Did you know that ancient temples, like the one just unearthed in Paestum, Italy, are meticulously aligned with stars in the sky? This revelation showcases our ancestors' profound understanding of stars and space and leaves us in awe of their advanced knowledge. Standing the test of time, these magnificent structures hold within them the enigmatic secrets and narratives of those who lived thousands of years ago. Today, we embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries of these ancient and enigmatic buildings, unveiling thrilling discoveries along the way. These amazing buildings have lasted for many years, holding secrets and stories from people who lived thousands of years ago. Today, we will explore the mysteries of these old and mysterious buildings and discover exciting new things based on recent discoveries. Studying history and ancient artifacts is not without its challenges. Historians and archaeologists often face significant hurdles when deciphering these ancient temples' secrets. Many of these buildings remain enigmatic, with their true purposes and meanings obscured by time. From deciphering ancient writings to understanding complex symbols, the journey to unlock the secrets of these temples is both arduous and exhilarating. The Great Pyramids of Giza in Egypt are big old graves that line up with the stars of the Orion constellation. This alignment shows that the ancient Egyptians knew much about stars and thought about life after death. They built the pyramids with fantastic care, proving they were skilled in astronomy and building. The size and detail of the Giza complex continue to amaze and puzzle us today. Angkor Wat in Cambodia is the most significant religious structure in the world. Its detailed carvings and large setup reflect the excellent building skills and deep religious thoughts of the Khmer Empire. The temple's design represents the Hindu idea of the universe and time cycles, Angkor Wat is a wonder in architecture and a showcase of the Khmer Empire's skills in engineering, managing water and art. The wall carvings tell stories from Hindu tales and critical past events, giving us a deep look into their culture and beliefs. The Parthenon in Greece was made for the goddess Athena. This old temple displays the Greeks' building skills. The Parthenon's design and features, like the slight curves of its columns, show the Greeks' deep knowledge of shapes and beauty. It stands as a symbol of ancient Greek culture, democracy, and art. They were making it needed precise math and an understanding of how to fix visual tricks to make it look perfect. The sculptures and borders that used to be on the Parthenon depicted scenes from myths, showing the religious and cultural values of ancient Athens. Borobudur in Indonesia is a prominent Buddhist temple shaped like a mandala representing the universe. Its design and carvings show the way to reach enlightenment, a critical Buddhist idea. Borobudur is an excellent example of Indonesian architecture and spiritual beliefs. The temple has nine levels with a central dome and is decorated with over 2,600 carved panels and 504 Buddha statues. These carvings teach about Buddha's teachings and guide the spiritual path to enlightenment. Recently, some archaeologists found two ancient temples in Italy from around 550 to 450 BC. These temples were for the gods Poseidon and Hera and are in Paestum. This discovery is significant because it helps us understand how people practiced their religion and built things back then. These temples are also unique because they are still in good shape after all these years, and they teach us a lot about the Greek style of building that was popular in Italy back then. The fact that these temples are still standing gives us a peek into the lives of the ancient Greeks who lived in this area and how they gathered to worship their gods. Not too far away in Egypt, near the coast, some other archaeologists were working underwater and found temples that had sunk into the sea in an old city called Thonis Heracleion. These temples were for gods like Amun and Aphrodite and showed that the people there mixed Egyptian and Greek worshipping. Thonis Heracleion was once a significant place for trading, and these underwater temples helped show how different cultures came together there. Finding these temples underwater is exciting, because it shows us how people in the past combined their religious beliefs and how important this city was for trade and cultural exchange. Meanwhile, deep in the forests of Mexico, in the Balamcu Ecological Reserve, some more discoveries were made. This time, it was a lost city of the Maya called Ocomtun. This city had many stone columns, which gives us a look into how the Mayans built and planned their towns. 
Okum Tun is a fantastic find because it shows us more about the Maya civilization, how it spread, and the clever ways they built their cities. The layout of Okum Tun, with its public squares, pyramids, and places where people lived, shows how advanced and thoughtful the Maya were in planning their urban spaces. Back in Italy, in Giugliano, another exciting discovery was made, a tomb with pictures of Cerberus, the mythical three-headed dog that guarded the underworld. This find is important because it shows the rich stories and art from the time of the Roman Republic. The tomb and its artwork tell us about the Roman beliefs in the afterlife and how they used myths to express these beliefs. The images of Cerberus help us understand what the Romans thought about life after death and the role of mythology in their culture. These recent discoveries from Italy, Egypt, and Mexico are not just archaeological findings. They are windows into the past, offering us a deeper understanding of how people lived, worshipped, and expressed themselves through art and architecture. Each discovery, whether a well-preserved Greek temple, a sunken Egyptian temple, a lost Maya city, or a Roman tomb, adds a new piece to the puzzle of human history, enriching our knowledge and appreciation of the richness and diversity of ancient civilizations. One of the most amazing finds recently was in Egypt's Temple of Esna, where experts found ceiling reliefs showing zodiac signs and constellations. These detailed designs mix Greek and Egyptian knowledge about the stars. This shows that long ago people understood a lot about the sky and used this knowledge to build temples. The Temple of Esna's beautiful reliefs are a great example of how different cultures shared their knowledge, especially in astronomy. These temples are more than just old buildings. They are proof of ancient people's cleverness, spiritual depth, and advanced knowledge. Keeping these places safe is essential because they teach us much about our history and how human societies developed. When we explore old temples, we're not just looking at stones and carvings. We're seeing the incredible architectural and artistic work of ancient people. These temples were where they worshipped, met for important community events, and looked for spiritual guidance. They were sacred spots where people felt close to their gods, sought advice, and held essential ceremonies. Beyond their spiritual roles, these temples were central to the social and political lives of the people. Kings and rulers often built them to show off their power and to establish their right to rule. Building a temple took a considerable amount of resources and people, and the big, impressive designs were meant to amaze everyone who saw them. This helped reinforce the ruler's power and the idea that the gods supported them. Studying these old temples also shows us how advanced these civilizations were in technology and engineering. For example, many temples were built to align perfectly with certain stars or events in the sky. The people who built them used advanced building methods and could create detailed carvings and statues. These accomplishments show they knew a lot about math, astronomy, and art, which is impressive. We keep finding new things that add to our understanding of these ancient temples. For instance, the recent discovery of the Temple of the Winged Lions in Petra, Jordan, has given us new information about the Nabataean people and their religious customs. This temple is particular because of its unique design and decorations, which show us a lot about the culture and artistic skills of the Nabataeans. Each of these discoveries helps us see how intelligent and skilled ancient people were and how they used their understanding of religion, society, and the cosmos to create incredible places of worship and community gathering. As we keep discovering and studying these ancient sites, we learn more about the past and gain insights into how ancient societies were organized, what they believed, and how they expressed those beliefs through architecture and art. The digging at Gobekli Tepe in Turkey has dramatically changed what we know about old societies. This place, thought to be the oldest temple complex in the world, was around even before people started farming and living in one place. The giant stone pillars and detailed carvings at Gobekli Tepe show that early people could organize themselves in complicated social and religious ways long before they built permanent homes. Keeping and studying old temples is essential for understanding human history. These buildings tell us a lot about what people believed, how they lived, and what they could do a long time ago. 
They also show us that all humans share a common history and remind us of our ancestors' achievements. As we continue to find and learn about old temples, we see how important it is to care for these historical treasures for the future. By helping with archaeological work and looking after these places, we ensure that we can continue to learn from these amazing buildings. Join our effort to protect these old wonders. By supporting the digging and care of these places, we help ensure we can keep uncovering their secrets for those who come after us. Hit like and subscribe to learn more about the incredible hidden stories from our world's past.